This incident might come out as corny according to some, but New Jeans Minji is facing some serious backlash in Korea for this seemingly innocent comment. In December 2022, during a TV appearance, Minji made a surprising revelation where she mentioned that she had never tasted kalguksu, a well-known and beloved noodle dish in South Korea. The comment immediately caught the attention of netizens and fans alike, sparking a mix of surprise, curiosity, and even some concern. As weeks passed, the topic didn't fade away. Throughout the following year, 2023, the spotlight remained on Minji's revelation. Some fans began to question her sincerity. They wondered aloud if Minji had deliberately avoided the dish or perhaps pretended to be unfamiliar with it. The sentiments were mixed. While some believed she might genuinely not have encountered the dish, others felt that her claim was a ploy to portray herself as distinct or unique. The chatter grew louder in online forums and social media platforms. Fans dissected Minji's past interviews, trying to find any hints or mentions of her culinary experiences. Seeking to clarify her earlier statement and address the growing speculation, Minji attempted to set the record straight in a recent broadcast, where she mentions, Stop saying that I haven't eaten it anymore. Everyone, do you really think I don't know what kalguksu is? What's kalguksu mean? Minji acknowledged that she was aware of kalguksu, but simply hadn't sampled all its variations. However, her clarification instead of silencing the critics seemed to fuel further debates. Some fans and viewers zoomed in on her choice of words during the interview. They particularly highlighted her phrasing when she asked, what's kalguksu mean? Instead, she should have said, kalguksu, what does it mean? Or what does kalguksu mean? Criticisms ranged from her grammar to her overall demeanor during the segment. All this shows how tricky things can be for idols like Minji. In the K-pop world, even the tiniest detail can become a big deal. In the highly anticipated finale of Belift Lab's survival program Are You Next, Young Seo secured the impressive second position in the final lineup for the upcoming girl group, I Lit, as one of the standout contestants. It is expected for the young female idol to take the center stage as a member of Belift first girl group. However, fans and followers have been left puzzled as Young Seo's absence becomes increasingly conspicuous. Despite her promising start and high ranking, Young Seo has seemingly disappeared from Eyelet's promotional activities and the broader K-pop scene, sparking numerous discussions and concerns among netizens on social media platforms. Netizens have voiced out their frustration across the internet due to Young Seo's absence in the group's official activities, particularly during Eyelet filming in Taiwan for their debut content. According to the clips that went viral online, the existing members namely Yuna, Minju, Mocha, Wonhee, and Eroha were the only ones present during their shooting. Many also expressed worries about Young Seo's status with the group. Unfortunately, Netizen's worst prediction came true as on January 5, the Lift Lab officially announced that Young Seo would be leaving both iLit and the agency. The company's statement, released on Weverse, clarified that the decision was the result of thorough discussions with the trainee. The Lift Lab further emphasized the importance of avoiding any misconceptions about the situation and conveyed their best wishes to Young Seo for her future endeavors. Of course, this sparks a massive outrage on social media as netizens expressed skepticisms about the announcement. Many could not believe that the trainee, who had worked so hard, would voluntarily give up her spot in the group. This also raised serious question amongst the recent trends, as labels parting ways with prominent members even before their debut, with one commenter questioning, is dropping the most popular member before debuting a thing now. So many labels have done this! Another comments casts doubt on the transparency and authenticity of talent competition shows, with one individual questioning at the end of the day, the label picks the members. What is the point of having a competition show? The departure of Young Seo has clearly left fans grappling for answers and questioning the dynamics within the K-pop industry. Being one of the most prominent rookies boy group of the year, SM Entertainment Boy Group Rise has gathered much attention lately both positive and negative. In the ever-evolving world of K-pop, where originality and innovation reign supreme, controversies surrounding music videos often stir the online community. This time, the spotlight fell on SM Entertainment, a titan in the K-pop industry, due to perceived similarities between Rise's latest MV Love 119 and a prior hit by New Jeans. On December 28, the netizens gathered in an online forum and discussed the new updates on Rise's official website. The homepage, which features retro phone features from the 90s, create a buzz among netizens. 
While many seems excited with this changes, majority of netizens aired out that the website's visuals resembled New Jeans concept. As both group is pursuing Y2K concept, it is easy to see the similarity between the two. As a result, on social media platform X, netizens drew their frustration against SM Entertainment for plagiarizing. With the aforementioned controversy happened not long ago, the release of Rai's latest song, Love 119, sparked a huge debate again. This time, netizens compare the similarity between Love 119 and another New Jeans hit, which was released around the same time last year, with fans and netizens dissecting every frame of both music videos to draw comparisons. The consensus was that several scenes in Rise's MV bore striking resemblances to New Jeans' ditto. Netizens were particularly vocal, highlighting sequences that seemed to echo New Jeans' iconic high school student concept. One such scene depicted members of both groups riding bikes in what appeared to be a suburban setting, evoking a sense of youthful nostalgia. Additionally, the dance practice locations in both videos bore striking similarities, leading fans to draw even more parallels. However, perhaps the most compelling evidence was the weather depicted in both MV. Both showcased snowy landscapes, aligning perfectly with the respective release dates of the songs. Although it can't be confirmed that plagiarism take place, the sheer volume of similarities between the two MV was enough to spark widespread debate. Fans, especially those familiar with Ditto, found it hard to dismiss the parallels as mere coincidence. The impact of Ditto was so profound that it had etched itself into the collective memory of K-pop enthusiasts, making any similar content instantly recognizable and subject to scrutiny. Adding fuel to the fire was a revelation from an inside source alleging that SM Entertainment had engaged the services of the consulting firm BCG. The purpose, reportedly, was to study and benchmark New Jeans' success, leading many to speculate that the similarities between the two groups' MV might not be coincidental after all. While hiring consulting firms for industry analysis is not uncommon, the timing and the subsequent similarities raised eyebrows and further fanned the flames of the controversy. The issue was not merely about alleged plagiarism but also about transparency and respect within the K-pop community. Both Rise and New Jeans had dedicated fan bases that deserved acknowledgement and original content from their favorite groups. As fans continue to demand transparency and respect, it remains to be seen how agencies and artists will navigate the intricate maze of the K-pop industry, ensuring that the focus remains on the music and the artistry that captivates millions worldwide. So what do you think about the situation? Do you believe that SM Entertainment has copied from New Jeans? Let us know in the comments section.